Hey guys, what's up? Good morning, good afternoon. Excuse the squeak that you're probably gonna hear of my chair. What are we doing today? Every Friday, I'm gonna drop a video of quick tips and stuff to see if I can help you guys with editing, whether it be Lightroom, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, all these things, things I use every day to get content towards you and my daily life as well. Today's video is gonna be my five tips or five, five ways to speed up your workflow when editing in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna do one separately for Final Cut Pro, um, but today is for Premiere Pro. So if this applies to you, let's go straight in. Let's go. Come closer. This kind of love I feel is new. Apologies, this is a new thing for me. I'm not used to teaching people um, editing and stuff. But yeah, we've got five minutes, so let's get going straight away. I'm gonna put five minutes on the clock now so i'm gonna go over and open up premiere pro every time i do a project it has my everyday edits i'm just gonna clear this and what this means is that so if you can see in this folder here i have something called today's vlog okay so today's vlog was all the footage i had from a previous project i was working on if i scroll down you can see sound effects scratch noises explosion sound effects stuff i use in my general group videos um i have a different folder for when i want to i'll give an example if i go to open project i have a different folder for my vlogs which include slightly different things you got the everyday vlogs you got my advice time which has all the texts and everything um, included yeah, so I can go straight there and I can just click save as if I wanted to and then save as a different name and then still have my basic project, I guess. Now, my second tip to the workflow is my setup and I think setup is very, very important. So you can see here I have two screens and this screen is my preview screen. So if I click this, you have the preview of the footage. We're about to edit potentially, scroll through it, see what part I want potentially and boom, I can work faster. Going on to the third, um, in and out points. In and out points are essential um, because they allow me to do such and I'll show you what I mean. So going into edit, I'm gonna look through what I want in my preview screen. I guess, what do I wanna show? So I'm gonna, I like this bit where the lights come in, the reveal. I'm gonna go I, that's a shortcut for the in point. Then I'm gonna go to the out point or if I wanna let it play. Um, and then we're gonna go to around here for the first piece of footage. I just love those flashy lights. Okay, so then I'm gonna, right there, gonna press O. If that's somebody's son, I'm sorry. There's two ways to do this. You can leave a drag. So it talks about sequence settings. Um, keep existing sequence. You can leave a drag, as I showed you there, or you could or, um, use shortcuts such as comma, which will put the clip down on your timeline for you, either by an overlap or by an insertion, okay? So that's number three. Number four, so once I place this down and I'm quickly gonna go through and place down some clips I like of the night. Um, this was a rave in my university. I had my camera because I had a shoot just before. So I got some footage, don't like that. Gonna get a bit of the DJ, let's go, bam. Okay, so now that's placed onto the timeline. Um, we're going to my fourth th favorite thing. So. When in Premiere Pro, when making cuts, you tend to have this selection tool, which is V, and then you tend to make your cuts um, and drag and drop to where you love, as shown. Now, one thing I like about Premiere Pro, um, first of all, is the timeline. Um, but second thing I found out is it's it's the shortcut is B. Um, so this is called the Ripple Edit Tool. Now what the Ripple Edit Tool does is it allows you to, if you wanted to elongate a clip, if I wanted to elongate this without shifting this point, I would initially have to go manually, I would have to press A, which is the selection tool for anything past behind that. And then I have to go like that, and then I have to go with V and then open that. How do I increase some of my workflow? How do I speed this up? Use B, so you use the Ripple Edit Tool, which means everything is rolling. Um, so you go from here and you're just going to drag to your desired point as you can see in the second screens and then I'm going to go to right where that girl's kind of looking down and I'm going to drop that. Now that means in my timeline I'm going to go right here, it's going to go right to where she go, she's looking and it cuts into the next scene. And now finally, you know, number five is, is literally another useful, very, very, very similar 
which is a rolling edit tool, which is N. Um, these are my five favorites to use. This, these are the five things I use the most. So I'm gonna type, click N. This is the rolling edit tool. And what this does is it allows you to almost kind of do the same thing as a ripple edit tool. However, it allows you to trim both heads at the same time. So you get a more precise cut without the overlap. Kind of cuts down the same thing as the last example. The difference between B and N is that B allows you to overlap without cutting the beginning of that clip. It elongates the whole sequence. Or you have N which allows you to cut into the next to your desired, to a desired position in the next cut. Um, so for example, I'm going to show you the reverse to make it smaller. If I make a cut, it makes this section bigger. Okay. So now here we have a clip. Yeah. And it's just music. I'm going to take the audio out. Um, and you just have the DJ. Now let's say I don't like that. I go back into my B. Um, hmm, and I'm like, cool. I like the beginning version. Yes. Uh, I like the beginning part of the next clip and I don't like, I don't need to see this much of the guy or the DJ. All I have to do is click B and I'm just gonna drag all the way back here and there we have it, boom. So those are my five favorites to use. I have way more favorites, but these, this is my five favorites in five minutes on Premiere Pro of how to speed up your workflow. Next week, I'm gonna go into further into more shortcuts and tricky or handy little tips in how to speed up the workflow a bit further. I hope you guys enjoyed this probably did not make the five minute tutorial but we'll get there next time hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like this smash the thumbs button below share this to a friend if you guys um, have any questions link them below i'll answer all of them and um yeah if you guys feel like maybe i wasn't the best in this just let me know and i'll improve on it this is literally a new thing to me i've never taught anybody but yeah um hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe and yeah man love guys i'll catch you guys later bye more of ya, the feeling's unforgettable Don't hold up, the value here I see in you Just focus, nothing I seen compares to you Don't want it to end right away I know in your heart you want it